Welcome to another video. In this video, we would be looking at an interesting game in the AI space called AI Town. This is powered by Convex. It is built by Convex actually. And we would start exploring the home page. AI Town, a virtual town where AI characters live, chat, and socialize. So this is kind of an interactive game similar to chatting and like NPCs. So Looking at the homepage, it looks cool. The background looks nice. This is like a short tab of what to expect, which is where the game will be played. So we have music, star, interact, help. So this star is the link to the GitHub repo. So if we click on it, we would have been directed to this place. So this is the repo for the technical server people. If you want to look into the code, you want to see how things are built. So this is what the repo looks like. There's a live demo. If you want to join the community to contribute to the code, there you have it. So it has a lot of the technical good stuff, how to clone the repo, how to get it up and running and um, interesting things. If you're deeply interested in the technical details, this is a good place to start. And there's majorly built with TypeScript, JavaScript, HTML, and some other things. And it's looking good so far. It's currently at 7.9k stars and it's quite an interesting project. And so it says AI Tower is a virtual town where AI characters live, chat and socialize. So this is like a practical application of AI agent. The project is a deployable starter kit for easily building and customizing your own version of AI Tower and it's based on a research paper called Generative Agents Interactive Simulacra of Human Behavior. The primary goal of this project, aside from being fun, is to provide a platform with a strong foundation that is meant to be extended. So it's sort of like a way to see a practical applications of AI agents and looking at it, it says from a simple project to play around with a scalable multiplayer game. So this is quite interesting. If you check some of our previous videos, we mentioned that um, with time, things get more interesting in the AI space and the multiplayer is one thing that can happen. And this is one game that implements that. So back to the game. Now looking at it, so it's let's quickly go through the help just to have an idea of what to expect and how to play the game. It says welcome spectating. So you can eat spectate, meaning you could just scroll around, not interacting directly, or you could actually interact. And for you to interact, you have to log in, join the simulation and directly talk to different agents. This is super cool. After logging in, interact. There are some controls, simple navigation keys. Talk to the agent, click on them and start conversation. So this is basically just having fun, having conversations, chatting, and this is kind of like an interactive fun game. The conversations will start and you can speak to each other. You can leave at any time by closing the conversation pane or moving away. They may propose a conversation to you. You would say a button to accept in the messages panel. AI Town only support eight humans at a time. If you are idle for five minutes, you would be automatically removed from the simulation, which is great just to conserve their resources and not have things open for extended periods of time. So now we understand we want to do the game. So let's start actually playing this game. So looking around, uh, it looks cool. Click an agent on the map to see chart history. We are just navigating around and uh, seeing different things. So these are the AI agents and uh, currently we are not logged in. So this is in speculation mode right now and just looking around, looks cool. So we can click on an agent just to see the chart. Alice is a famous scientist. She's smarter than everyone else and has discovered mysteries of the universe. No one else can understand. As a result, she often speaks in oblique riddles. She come across as confused and forgetful. So they said that their conversation history between Alice. Alice joined the conversation, Lucky joined. So Alice says this, the cosmos has a way at weaving tales, doesn't it? If you just return from a distant planet. 
uh, skipping the conversation so we can kind of see the current conversations ongoing between Alice and Loki. And it keeps going. Alice left the conversation. Loki left. So we can click on another, another player. So we have Bob. Bob is always grumpy and he loves trees. Spends most of his time gardening by himself when spoken to. He would respond, but try and get out of the conversation as quickly as possible. Secretly, he resents that he never went to college. This is cool. So we have Pete. Pete joined the conversation, trying to converse with Bob also. As we can see, Bob is typing. So the cool thing about this, it's, it sort of feels real time. It sort of feels like you're part of something, part of a community, which is the purpose of the game, right? And uh, we can also see them having the conversations if we are just speculating. And yeah, that cleared. So let's try now to interact and actually be part of this game rather than speculating. So once you select the interact, you get moved to where you have to sign up. If you haven't signed up, you have to sign up. You have to put in your mail and password details. So once you do that, this was like a previous tab open. Once you do that and you sign up, it gets easier for you to actually play the game. I have done that already. And now I have interacted. You see the button here changes to leave. So I would look for a player I want to interact with. So let's just take a look around and see who we can interact with. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. So who are we going to interact with? So we have one player here. We have another player. Let's see. So we see two players already conversing. They've stopped and mm, let's converse with this pair. So Alice start conversation got me. Alice is a famous scientist. So this is Alice that's fixing riddles. And let's see if we can converse with Alice. Mm. No. So Bob sent, Bob is trying to converse with me. So let me try to actually con have a conversation with Bob. Bob is always grumpy. And where is Bob? Bob is walking over. How long does it take Bob to walk over? That's... So Bob is walking towards me and currently looking for Bob. Bob is quite far. So Bob is here now and we can have a conversation. Bob and Lucky. So let me restart a conversation with Bob. So we can see a line here showing. So this is me and I'm trying to locate Bob right now. So this is Bob, let's zoom in. So we put directions on where we want the agent to go and to meet someone. So we have Bob here. So now we have Bob. So this is a test. Hi Bob, how are you doing? So we sent a test to Bob. We are asking about what are your favorite trees. So 
So this is mm, myself and Bob having a conversation. Bob says he likes orcs and marbles. They are strong, clean. All right. So Bob is true to his character. Bob just not like having a conversation and Bob is out of here. So Bob leaves. So this is Bob. This is myself. And now that we are done, we can actually exit the conversation. Yep. And we can keep going because Bob is not having it with us. So let's discuss with someone else. So we see different people in the town having different conversation. And let's discuss just with Alice this time. So it also shows our previous conversations here. Yeah, this is what we discussed with Bob. Hi, Bob. How are you? Other players can also see our interactions with Bob just in case. And so let's discuss with this player now and just say Lucky. So Lucky is always happy and curious and he loves cheese. He spends most of the time reading. So let's quickly see if we can talk to Lucky. This is Lucky. So we are trying to get to Lucky right now. I see there is a glitch. I can't find my player. This is quite cool. I really can't find my player right now. And that's strange. Well, we were trying to talk to Lucky, but we can't talk to Lucky anymore. So this is Lucky and Alex. They just, Alice, they just had a conversation. Now, we want to talk to someone else, but sadly, we can't. Okay, so interestingly, my player disappeared because for some reason we were logged out. Now we would re-log in back just to see. Okay, is this us? So this is Alice. Alice is the famous scientist. This is my player. Let's talk to Alice. The interesting thing is why is Alice walking away? Okay, Alice is coming towards me and Okay, so Alice trying the conversation. Uh, so Alice speaks in readers actually. I really don't know what this is. So it says the universe is a grand puzzle, blah, blah, blah. I, the labyrinth through life. What curiosity tickle your mind today? What could be the reason, Alice? So Alice is quite curious. She knows a lot. So she says, ah, the break has begun. Is it a reflection of joy or glare from unasked questions? What secrets lie in this luminous day waiting to be unrivaled? So awesome. So we tell Alice we do not really know because Alice speaks in riddles. We are not sure what Alice is talking about. In the kaleidoscope of uncertainty, sometimes not knowing is the first step to discovery. What mystery shall we unearth together from the nebulous cloud of thoughts? Well, I have to go now. So I have to tell Alice, I have to go and we might talk another time. But Alice is just safe travels. So Alice says safe travels. She safe travels through the realms, realms of thought. It's quiet.
This is quite interesting. So Alice left and here we are at Stone. So this is our previous conversations with Alice. And that's pretty much it. You can now leave if you're tired of playing this. But it's pretty much an interesting game. It's cool if you love interacting, if you love having endless conversations with different NPCs or different characters. This is one cool game. There are different characters depending on your mood, depending on the conversations based on the characteristics of this player and what you'd like to have. Bob is grumpy, Bob loves trees, Alice knows a lot about the universe. You could see conversations of previous people or previous people in the community. So this is Lucky. Lucky is always happy and curious. If you're in a good mood, you could get talk to Lucky. Lucky knows a lot about the history of science and travel through the galaxy on whatever ship we're taking. It's very articulate and infinitely patient. So this is a good way. I'm pretty sure the game will be improve there'll be more features to come maybe you can even create your custom characters which is why in the github repo it says like it's a foundation that can be extendable so if you're pretty much savvy with the tech part you could definitely extend this game but besides that this is how you play the ai town game let me know what you all think in the comment section and what are the features or other things you would like to be added to this game and that's it for this video. Bye.